five years ago, administrators at Broad Acres Elementary School had an idea. Bring some high school students to their school to mentor some fourth and fifth graders. Well, the Rising Stars program has celebrated its five year anniversary, and it did so with a group of county leaders who helped make this program a success. Uh, and we talked about an idea that uh, I, seen was, I thought was pretty simple. Uh, this notion of we have this incredible group of students at Springbrook High School and how can we get those students at Springbrook High School to come over to Broad Acres to be positive role models to our fourth and fifth grade boys and um, it's incredible what can happen when you put people together that really care uh, about kids. The Rising Stars program pairs students from Springbrook High School with Broad Acres Elementary students. The mentors spend time on homework help and any other participation issue the young student may be having. I've learned many things such as team building, um, understanding differences and more academic excellence. Councilmember Phil Andrews has been a big supporter of the Rising Stars program. Having been mentored as a young man himself, Andrews says youth mentoring programs help children and teens be better prepared for the future. How you can tell it's important is the difference it makes for kids and you can see the results in this class of the impact that mentoring has on not just the uh, students that are being mentored uh, next to me here, but also the mentee, the mentors. Um, the mentees and the mentors both get a lot out of the program. Andrew says there is always a need for more mentors. It's these unique one-on-one -on -one relationships that allow mentors to validate young students as successful learners. Well, I think there's a need for more mentoring programs, and this is a great example of the difference it can make. So we need to continue to reach out to our private partners, to volunteers, because these programs run not just on dollars but on volunteers and we couldn't do it without the, the volunteers. I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.